Welcome back. Hi, Austin. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. I'm ready for today's lesson. Are you ready for today's lesson, Austin? I am. I hope our students are ready, too. Before we start our new lesson, Austin, can you please tell our students or give our students a, a, a brief review what we have learned in the last chapter? In our last chapter, we learned some language functions used when asking for agreement, agreeing, and disagreeing. The profession we learned about was being a negotiator. A good negotiator never begins negotiating without knowing the bottom line. You need to know the lowest price you are able to offer to your customer. An important aspect of negotiating is having a good attitude and being diplomatic. There are skills that can be learned to help the negotiator say what they want to say in an acceptable way. Thank you, Austin. These are very good tips. Uh, also, students, uh, do your homework. You know, uh, I would say uh, practice. Good preparation is another way to success. Uh, now let's move on to today's chapter focus. Today's chapter focus has two parts. The first is to learn some useful phrases for giving praise. The second is to learn how to give constructive criticism. Austin, I have uh, often heard people say being a CEO is a challenging job. Uh, what does a CEO mean and what does a CEO do? A chief executive officer, or CEO, deals with people and administrative work. A big part of being a CEO is motivating your employees to do good work. If you want your subordinates to work harder for you, Give them positive, encouraging words. People like to be encouraged and appreciated. Mm -hmm. In our lesson today, we will teach you some useful phrases to give praise and positive criticism. Thank you, Austin. 刚刚 Austin 老师说到回答我的问题 Lisa, you inspire me as I see how hardworking you are. You can manage and organize many different projects because you are not lazy, but very hardworking. Thank you, Austin. Since I committed to do this program, yes, I do work hard and we hope to see this program be beneficial to our students. So I enjoy working with you. you. You are a blessing to me and to this program. So students, I hope you are a hardworking student. After working so many years among Westerners, uh, I've been, uh, uh, I've seen one particular area that they handle different differently from Chinese. Uh, I noticed uh, Westerners seems to show appreciation and praise to, to so easily to the, the people they work with. But they, there is no right or wrong. I just want to mention this for a student's reference. I believe that can be beneficial to our students since they may work with international companies or have a foreign superior or subordinate. In our conversation one, what so the CEO give credit to his employees? Almost every employee hopes to hear their bosses acknowledge the excellent work or special effort given to a job. Right. 
people like to receive positive comments on, the, on their performance. If you are the su supervisor, a manager, a teacher, a father or a mother, try to give more positive comments to, to your subordinates, a students or a children. Praise is a, a valuable motivator. For example, you can say, well done, nice work, I'm proud of you, good job. Yeah, the outcome may not always turn out well, but even if it is the, this is the case, you can still give positive criticism instead of scolding, you know? When the outcome is not good, you can still appreciate the effort or creativity of the worker. 是的,待会呢,我们会看第一个conversation Hardworking, credit, outcome. Let's look at conversation one. A CEO or chief executive officer of ABC Company is talking to his employees. In his talk, he is showing appreciation and giving praise to his employee. 待会在我们的conversation one, ABC公司的总裁、CEO正在跟他的下属谈话。我们现在就来看conversation one. Margaret, you deserve a lot of credit for all you've done to make this project a success. It's nice of you to say that. Really nice work. I'm impressed. Thank you, but I can't take all the credit. John contributed a lot to this project as well. Yes, John, you did a great job too. Well, it took the whole team to really pull this off. I know it took the whole team, but without Margaret's leadership and John's management skills, this wouldn't have had such a successful outcome. Working with John on this was a great learning opportunity. I couldn't have asked for a better manager. The credit's all yours. Without your leadership, none of this would have been possible. Well, all I know is I am lucky to have you guys on my team. I think it's calls for a celebration. Let's go to a nice restaurant for lunch. It's on me. That sounds good to me. Me too. Let's go. conversation one, 我们来看几个生字。首先第一个, credit, credit, 功劳. Credit, praise, approval, or honor. 它的意思就是赞扬,肯定或荣耀. You deserve credit for making this project so successful. 这个句话能够得以成如此成功,这一切都要归功于你。第二个生字是, contribute. Contribute是贡献的意思. Contribute, to be a part of a group or an activity and help it to be successful. 是, contribute, 就是参与某一个团体或活动, 有所贡献, 而使活动能够成功. Mary didn't really contribute much to the completion of this report. 这个计划的完成, Mary其实没有帮到什么忙。接下来, leadership, leadership, 能力. Leadership, the qualities and skills of a good leader. Leadership 的意思就是好的领导能力. The complaints from the department seem to be that the manager isn't showing enough leadership. 部门经理未能够表现良好的领导能力, 似乎是造成许多对部门抱怨的原因。再看 outcome, outcome, 结果. Outcome, result. 它就叫做结果, outcome. He refused to comment on the outcome of the election. 他拒绝对这次选举的结果做任何的评论. In our next skit, we are going to see the CEO is talking to his colleague, Esther who has not been doing too well. She underestimates her competitor and now feels the job is a little overwhelming. Overwhelming, 
Well, 注意这两个生字。我们现在来看 conversation two. I know it's a challenge to make changes at this late date, but I think it's essential that we do this. I understand the need for changes. I know you are a hardworking employee, but you underestimated our competitors. I see your point. Overall, your plan was good, but we need to make a few minor adjustments to make it even better. What would you suggest? I know this has been a huge burden for you, maybe even overwhelming. Why don't we ask Sally to work alongside you on this? If this is best for the company, of course, I'm willing to make the change. Your diligence and her experience are bound to bring about the desired results. I think this may be the best idea. I'll call Sally immediately and arrange for a meeting with the two of you. I appreciate your advice and input. My role is to help you succeed. You know, to pull this program off, my own effort could never make it. Many friends offer their help by coming to film the skits, and students came to give us a very insightful questions. And also, Austin, you co-teaching this program make this program course possible. Beyond that, I want to thank our director Chen. Her leadership contributes a lot to this program. Thank you, Chen Daobo. Yes, her professionalism has been outstanding. Also, the filming crew with their eager and energetic attitude has made the filming process so smooth. I can't express how grateful I am for all the help we've gotten. My sincere thanks. 下一个生字 essential， 必须的。essential， necessary， 必要的意思。我们看例句。In a large organization, good internal communication is essential. In a large organization, good internal communication is essential. 在一个大型的企业中，良好的内部协调是必须的。下一个 underestimate， 低估了。Underestimate， to think that someone has less power or ability than they really do。他的意思，呃、uh, ，underestimate 就是低估他人的权利或能力。Their big mistake was to underestimate their opponent's potential。他们最大的错误就是低估了对手的权利。下一个 competitor。Competitor. Competitor, opponent. 对手的意思 All our major competitors are also bidding for the contract. 我们主要的竞争对手同样在竞标这份合约 Overwhelming, 压倒性的 Overwhelming, too great to fight against. Okay, overwhelming, 不可抵抗的 She felt an overwhelming urge to tell someone about what had happened. 她突然有强烈的念头，想坦诚这整件事情的来龙去脉 Bind, bind, 捆绑 Bind, to tie. 绑的意思 Bind. I am really in a bind since I have to finish this report by three o'clock, and I haven't got all my data yet. 我现在真的是进退维谷，因为我得在三点前完成这份报告，但现在我的资料还没有收集完全。Welcome to more information. I would like to know what does that mean when you are going to pull something off. Pull off something is a verb phrase that means you are going to succeed in doing something that is difficult. Okay, 这个意思就是是困难的事或任务成功。好，我们来给你一个例句。As an example, they nearly managed to get the loan, but just failed to pull it off. 
他们差一点就能够申请到贷款，但是就是没法顺利完成。Student, are you a hardworking person? I bet your boss would like to see you as a hardworking employee. A hardworking employee is a person who works with care and energy. 是的，他啊、uh, ，maybe we can give our student one example. Sure. She was very hardworking and reliable. 她曾经是个努力工作的人，值得信赖的人。好，接下去我们就来看 conversation one and two together. Margaret, you deserve a lot of credit for all you've done to make this project a success. It's nice of you to say that. Really nice work. I'm impressed. Thank you, but I can't take all the credit. John contributed a lot to this project as well. Yes, John, you did a great job too. Well, it took the whole team to really pull this off. I know it took the whole team, but without Margaret's leadership and John's management skills, this wouldn't have had such a successful outcome. Working with John on this was a great learning opportunity. I couldn't have asked for a better manager. The credit's all yours. Without your leadership, none of this would have been possible. Well, all I know is I am lucky to have you guys on my team. I think it's calls for a celebration. Let's go to a nice restaurant for lunch. It's on me. That sounds good to me. Me too. Let's go. I know it's a challenge to make changes at this late date, but I think it's essential that we do this. I understand the need for changes. I know you are a hardworking employee. But you underestimated our competitors. I see your point. Overall, your plan was good, but we need to make a few minor adjustments to make it even better. What would you suggest? I know this has been a huge burden for you, maybe even overwhelming. Why don't we ask Sally to work alongside you on this? If this is best for the company. Of course, I'm willing to make the change. Your diligence and her experience are bound to bring about the desired results. I think this may be the best idea. I'll call Sally immediately and arrange for a meeting with the two of you. I appreciate your advice and input. My role is to help you succeed. Now, let's learn some phrases that you can use to praise people in an appropriate way as we begin our expressions portion of the class. 好，现在各位同学，我们要来学习怎么样给人家赞美 ，offering praise. 我待会会请 Austin 老师念一遍，然后我跟着念，同学也可以在电视前面、电视机前面跟着我们来附送。Here we go. Nice work, Lisa. Nice work, Lisa. You did a great job, Lynn. You did a great job, Lynn. You deserve a lot of credit for all the hard work you've done, Mark. You deserve a lot of credit for all the work you have done, Mark. I'd like to give credit to John for the success of this project. I like to give credit to John for the success of this project. You did very well, Tammy. You did very well, Tammy. I want to acknowledge Linda's contributions to this team. I want to acknowledge Linda's contributions to this team. I've got to hand it to you, Joe. You handled this very well. I've got to hand it to you, Joe. You handled this very well. 同学，刚刚谈到的是给人家赞美。What about some your A subordinate, they not doing well. 这时候你要给他一些批评。那么这个批评可以是很正向的，很有建设性的 constructive criticism。我们看看 Austin 老师给我们什么例句。I don't mean to be critical, but it seems you have overlooked some things. I don't mean to be critical, but it seems you have overlooked some things. You've worked really hard on this case, Alex. I appreciate that. If we make a few small revisions, 
I think we can make it even better. You work really hard on this case, Alex. I appreciate that. If we make a few small revisions, I think we can make it even better. Overall, this is a good decision, but we may need to change a few things. Overall, this is a good decision, but we may need to change a few things. I've seen your hard work, but the problem hasn't been totally solved. I've seen your hard work, but the problem hasn't been totally solved. I know it's a difficult job. What if we ask the marketing director to give you some advice? I know it's a difficult job. What if we ask the marketing director to give you some advice? I know you are a hardworking employee, but you underestimated our competitors. I know you are a hardworking employee, but you underestimate our competitors. Okay, 各位同学, 刚刚学到的是如何给人家有建设性的批评, 你会注意到每一个批评都非常的有礼貌, 为何呢? 它总是从比较客气的, 啊, 呃, 比较indirect的方式, 呃, 代替就是直接的批判, 啊, 这个是各位同学要注意的, 那接下去我们就往下看今天的学生在职场的同学们带来的什么问题要问我们 Hi everyone, this is Molly again Hi Mavis So the questions for today is What is good vocabulary to express great leadership? Thanks for the question, Molly. Good vocabulary to express great leadership. When we think about great leaders, we just need to think about words that we can use to describe them. Words like charismatic, inspiring, motivating. What kind of leader do you have in your life and what are they like? Think about words that you can use to describe the people that motivate you to succeed. Okay. Uh, Molly, question。你要谈到一个怎么表达一个是一个很好的领导能力的人。他刚刚用了charismatic，就是一个非常热情、哈，很非常会呃鼓舞人的人。你希望怎么样的leadership是你觉得好的leadership，你就可以用那样子的
if we talk to uh, CEO, 我觉得就是 business talk 就好了哈。你尽量避免一些我们曾经说过 small talk 应该避免的话题那些你不要谈。我觉得就是 stick to business, 反正就是 uh, 商场的谈话, 好, 工作的谈话, 会比较安全。我们看最后一个问题。well, I have another question. Being a CEO, how to be firm, not bossy? Thanks for the question. Being a CEO can be difficult, especially when you are trying to communicate what you want your subordinates to do, how to be firm but not bossy. This whole lesson today has been about this. You need to offer compliments and offer praise. Use constructive criticism instead of being highly critical and overly negative. This should be a way to be firm and not bossy to your employees. Thank you, Mavis. Your question is very good. As a CEO, how do you not feel you are very bossy? It's like you are very bossy, and you are very bossy. I think today, our class is about how to be a CEO's role. For example, we learned how to praise the employees. Today, if you are a CEO, you are very good. You are very good. You are very good. You are very good. 好，学习我们赞美的这些词句，还有如果他做不好，你要很清楚地告诉他你需要什么，然后呢，你给他很有建设性的一个建议，哈，这都是我们今天课程里头所所上的，呃，希望啊、呃、这些你回去复习应该对你很有帮助。Okay, we are running out of time, and Austin, before we say goodbye to our students, can you review what we have learned today? Today we learned some useful phrases to give praise. We also learned how to give positive criticism. Students, find an opportunity to praise people. Compliment a coworker's effort, attitude, attention to detail, or creative thinking. Think through how to say something in a positive way, even though you might not be satisfied with the worker's performance. Very good review. Thank you, Austin. In the next lesson, we will talk about being an interview interviewer sometimes you might be in a position and be requested to give an interview when when a company is recruiting more more people so what should you ask or do uh, when you are in that position you want to find out right so make sure you will come back next week and to our program have a nice day bye bye